Hello everyone, I'm Hilary Chin. Please uh, do remember to subscribe, comment and like. Um, thank you for always watching our YouTube channel. Today we want to take you through some tricks in Excel. Um, we'll be looking at how you can protect your sheets, um, how you can protect your workbook, how you can delete sheets, how you can hide your sheets. Um, and that is just what we are going to be looking at. It's very important. And as I explain through, I'm going to tell you. Let's jump in. Right here, like I earlier said, I said um, Excel is like a book, okay? And it's like a book that you open pages. And Excel has Excel workbook and Excel sheet. So Excel itself is a book and the sheets are pages. Okay, so there's a way you can lock the whole book and there's a way you can lock some pages. Okay, and this is important because some of us are working with data in organizations, in our companies, in our personal lives that we don't want people to distract the data. Maybe you have designed a tool that you want to use. You don't want your child to manipulate your machine and go in there. You don't want colleagues to come in there and do and you know stop something or disturb something. There's just a way you can go about it. Let's start by showing you how to protect our sheet. Like we said, if you look at what I have here, these are different sheets. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sheets, and we can keep creating sheets on and on and on. But I just want us to work with these few sheets. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to protect your sheet. So for to protect your sheet, all you need to do is you come up here. Here we have tabs. Come up here and you go to preview review when you click review you will just see protect sheet you have protect sheet and protect workbook so we are now going to protect sheet you just click your protect sheet when you click protect sheets okay this dialog box comes up this is one thing that really makes me um excited when i work with excel they have created all kinds of dialog box to teach you and to guide you so yeah it asks you to password to unprotected sheet they say you put your password one thing i want to sh um, really um caution you here make sure you put a password that you're going to remember this is not a google gmail platform where they ask you have you forgotten your password they send you a message and then you will do it again here when you put the wrong password i bet you it's gonna be so difficult to retrieve it so make sure you put a short password so i'm gonna put a very short password okay i'll just put this password and then i click ok and then it asks again to put it again you want to confirm and i put another very short password and i click ok you see now okay i have protected this particular sheet so here i cannot write anything you see it's, it's giving you stem cell or child that you are trying to change to change is protected and therefore wait only you see so i cannot write anything in this sheet. remember we are under this protect sheet okay if we go to this protect workbook i can write something here because it is unprotected remember we have protected just a sheet okay good so now i can come here find it difficult to write anything here this other query box coming up and i can come to the next sheet and i can write something you see because i have not protected this other sheet you see if i come here i can write something you see if i come here i can also write something if i come here i can also write something because they are not protected okay so this is the difference so to unprotect this sheet i need to just go over and click when i click i go back to up here i go to review and i go up here and it says unprotect and i go there and then i write the formula that i use to protect and i click okay you see now it's open if i go here now i can now write something you see if i have to protect a workbook the whole workbook um what will happen is we'll be unable to add a sheet within that workbook for instance now it is not protected if i come here i can add a sheet on this workbook okay so if i want to protect the whole workbook all i need to do is go up here go to review go up here um beside protect sheet instead i'll select protect workbook and i click and then it will ask me for a form a password sorry and i put input the password and i click okay it asks me again to confirm the password remember to put a short password because if you forget your password it's a problem now see what happens i cannot add a sheet you see i'm clicking i cannot add a sheet you see i'm clicking i cannot add a sheet but i can come here i can come here i can come here but i can write in every other sheet okay i can write in every other sheet remember we have not protected the sheet we have not protected the workbook okay it means if you take this workbook you cannot add a sheet okay so the only time we can add a sheet is when we unprotected so now you see i cannot add a sheet 
and clicking is not going so what i have to do is see and then here is already indicating that this workbook has been protected so if i go back and click and then i put the same password and i click ok we have now opened this workbook now i can add a workbook you see now we have add sheet 11 sheet 12 sheet 13 so anytime um someone sends um uh, an excel software to you and you are unable to add a sheet please get back to them and ask them to give you the password that they use Actually, um when it concerns hiding a sheet or deleting a sheet there are two different you must know if i delete a sheet it goes off completely if i hide a sheet i can still go around and bring that sheet back let's say if i come here this sheet is named full screen if i go here and i hide this sheet you see i've hidden the sheet and if i want the sheet back i just need to click on any sheet here and i right click again and i come to unhide remember i previously click hide now i'll click on hide and when i click on hide and i come here i will see full screen it is here these are other sheets that i've hidden zoom sheet add sheet these are other lessons i've created um, um different sheets but i hid them because i wanted visibility of others so here i will just put click on the sheet i want to on hide or bring back to the to the workbook and then i click ok you see we have brought it back you see that's it here but if i right click and i click delete this is the option for delete you see it deletes the sheet and if i right click again i go to on height i'm not going to see it here it is not found here because i have deleted the sheet all all over now if i come here and i want to change the name of the sheet as well all i need to do is right click rename you see and then i click backspace and then i can write hello and i can write the name that i want to write in the sheet okay so this is all about hiding and deleting a sheet so this is all we had for you about protecting your sheet and your workbook and deleting and and and, and hiding um, um your sheet there's another trick i want to show you if you want to delete all this sheet at the same time what you need to do is you press down and hold control button okay and then you click this one click this one my hand is still on my control button click this one 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 okay and then you right click now and then it says delete and then you come up here and then you you see we have deleted all the sheet the, the sheets at once this is another trick you have to take note of thank you very much um for watching and we'll keep bringing you um exciting and simple to learn uh, models um in excel and every other um, um, um tool like word document powerpoint just stay um um, patient with us um, looking forward to see you in uh, the other lessons god bless you